What we just learned is responsible AI isn't about perfect systems. It's about intentional ones. And that's what each one of us need to imbibe into our work, our business, our projects as we go about. It's about choosing to build with consciousness, with care, and the recognition that every line of code carries a consequence. Every line of code carries a consequence. And perhaps most importantly, it's about partnerships between governments and industry, foundations and tech companies, global perspectives, local needs, and in our case, even within our own G42 ecosystem. Because the future of AI isn't built in isolation. Peng always says it, it's built together. That makes all of us, everyone in this room, everyone building AI systems, as well as everyone using them, part of this responsibility. Thank you all. We've just wrapped this session on Responsible AI. I want to stay here and keep you guys in this zone for a few more minutes. Uh, and I promise it'll just be a few more minutes, but it'll be, it'll be quite a rewarding one. Well. Because for us at G42, responsibility isn't a section in the slide deck or the company credentials. Peng has said it today morning, the blue pill, the red pill, where do we stand? It's really the backbone of how we show up in the world as G42. A few years ago, Peng planted a seed. He challenged us to think about impact Impact not just in terms of compute or cloud or code, but in terms of contribution to the planet, to people, to the big problems that really, really matter. And that's how our journey with Be Wild began. Andy referenced this uh, in, in the last panel. It started with a conversation, and I still remember vividly uh, we were in the midst of something. Peng said, what are you doing? I need you here in 10 minutes. And it was a scramble to a meeting that I didn't know what it was about. And that's where we had our first meeting. And in came in our lives Eva Cruz, who's now the CEO uh, of, of Be Wild. And she came into a world with a conviction and a big question. It was a reminder to us that while we talk about the future of intelligence, there's a very real and a very quiet collapse happening in our natural world. And this is the decline of pollinators, of bees, the unsung heroes of biodiversity and the food system. You know, 80% of everything that we consume and eat comes because of these pollinators. And imagine the thesis that is going on now that we're losing about a billion bees uh, a year. That's quite catastrophic. So we really need to look at this. So this just wasn't a cause for us. It was a call. And it resonated deeply with us because at G42, you all know what our purpose is. It's about inventing a better every day. And there's no version of a better every day that doesn't include a thriving planet. So we stepped in, not as sponsors. We came in as co-founders of the whole movement and co-curators of the program. And we developed the theory of change. We looked into applying geospatial intelligence to monitor pollinator habitats. And this is a contribution that's coming from Space42. Uh, Dr. Prashant has been leading this all the way since its inception. And I think he deserves a big round of applause for all the work that he does. And we also use multi-omics capabilities to decode the biology of this species. And that's where the M42 team comes in. 
And now we have Dr. Bulbaba from Inception, who's leading the entire program and has been fronting this uh, for the last several weeks uh, across global platforms. So thank you and well done for all the good work. What we're really doing is we're trying to get all these different fragmented data sets together. So researchers, policymakers, and even school kids can understand the stakes of the problem. And alongside that, Brad spoke about the power of brand, the power of reputation, the power of trust. So it was very important for us to make sure we framed this challenge to the rest of the world. And we did that with a very special effort. It is a documentary film that in many ways is more than a film. For us, it's a spark and we've got it going. This film is directed by Josh and Rebecca Tickle. They're social impact filmmakers, uh, multi-award winning. Uh, the last one that you guys would have probably watched is on Netflix. It's called Kiss the Ground. The particular film that they've made for us, uh, we previewed these, this film at COP28. We then took it to Davos. It was screened at the Cannes Film Festival. And just two weeks ago, uh, it was premiered at South by Southwest in London. This film brings the issue to life with a sense of urgency. There's a bit of beauty in it, in how the story is told. And it's quite a compelling and powerful storyline. What's really interesting is on this journey, we managed to get some very interesting people join us and be part of the Be Wild program. So this film has voices from Angelina Jolie, Ellie Golding, Morgan Freeman, and the entire initiative is now supported and driven by Leonardo DiCaprio. We have world-renowned scientists, artists, policymakers from all around the world in this film and as part of this activation. So before we roll the, the trailer, we've got the trailer for you guys, I want to thank Peng. We want to thank Peng not just for enabling G42 to be a part of this, but for constantly reminding us that intelligence without intent is absolutely meaningless. Thank you, Peng. So now, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you a preview of the trailer of Be Wild. Flowers. You're a beekeeper. You keep bees? Yes. I don't have to put on a bee suit or anything. That's a rookie mistake. It is our responsibility as a human being to save the bees. Because without bees, our life will disappear. Wild bees are in trouble. The loss of biodiversity is a real problem because all of us are interconnected. The use of pesticides poses one of the gravest threats. We are at risk of destabilizing the whole planet. We're threatening our very own existence. There is no society without pollinators and biodiversity. All of us are interconnected and part of an ecosystem. I cannot be a bystander to the destruction of bees. It is absolutely crucial that we protect our bees. There are a number of heroes taking action to protect bees all around the world. By decoding the secrets of the bee genome, we uncover not just the story of a species, but the blueprint for saving our planet. Regenerative farms are not using pesticides. Rewilding is essentially about helping nature to come back. They're helping the climate cycle. They're helping the soils regenerate. They're connected to everything. Bees are pollinating and they're helping local vegetation grow and become healthy. Rewilding starts with rewilding ourselves, reclaiming our place in the ecosystem. Instead of planting lawn, plant native plants. Every single person can do something. If humans 
really are the most intelligent species on the planet, then we need to be smart enough to protect the most important family of animals, the one that's keeping us all alive. The film will be out. It's doing its festival rounds now. It should be out on Netflix or Amazon or, or Apple, hopefully by early next year. So now, before we head into our final segment of the day, we're going to take a short networking break. It's your last one, I promise. But don't go far, because uh, what's coming up next is something very, very special. We're about to take a glimpse into the world where we coexist with robots, where physical AI isn't just sci-fi, it's the new normal. And thus, we'll be asking, what does it mean to be an organization? What does it mean for talent, for leadership? What needs to be reimagined, redesigned, and relearned? We will close the day with a little surprise, Peng. So, Please grab a bite, have something to drink, and have some more conversations, but stay with us. We promise it's going to be worth it. Thank you all.